Hey, Sarah here with you and this is 12 days of anime day 8 and today I want to share a moment from Tiger and Bunny and if you haven't heard about it then where were you? It's like one of the most popular animes in the whole year. I will tell you this, this will contain some spoilers from Tiger and Bunny, especially that I'm going to talk about the last two episodes. Alright, so um, let's move on. The moment, or the really like a very sad moment that I had in Tiger and Bunny was um, when Kutetsu was fighting uh, the fake tiger and of course he was a really strong android so he had to pin him down in order for Barnaby to shoot him and uh, at that moment where everyone thought like he was dead and so I was like no way this can't be happening he can't be dead he's my favorite character in the series he and Barnaby they're like my favorite two characters and I don't want one of my favorite characters of Tiger and Bunny to just die like that. Of course, I had to wait a whole week until the uh, episode 25 was released or the final episode was released to know that he was still alive. And I was like, he's alive! And he's kicking and doing well and I was really happy to see that they haven't killed him. I mean, it's Tiger and Bunny, you can't just go off killing one of the characters, like one of the main two characters. It's just weird. So it was like a really sad moment in episode 24 and a really happy moment in episode 25. So you have like two moments out of one uh, series from two episodes that follow each other. Um, but that's it for this video. Um, Tiger and Bunny, seriously awesome. It's one of my all-time favorite animes and one of the best animes in 2011. It's unique in its own uh, style. It's that type of anime that if it was in Japanese, you would believe it's an anime. If it was in English, you wouldn't believe it's an anime. And it was a masterpiece created by Sunrise. I hope they do a second season, but um, they said that they're gonna release two movies in 2012, so... Uh, that's not too far away and I seriously can't wait for the two movies to come out next year. So that's it for the 12 days of anime. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.